So the fires came through firstly early in January and then a second fire came through late in January and it pretty much wiped out most of the trees on this property. Uh, basically dead, everything dead sticks with no leaves on them at all. Just occasional tree here and there that managed to somehow hang on to its leaves and everything else just dead. So basically when we first came across them, they were very, very thin. They were quite dehydrated and blood panels that we ran on them initially sort of um, indicated, you know, these periods of starvation and compromise. So when they first came in, basically they were anaesthetised like they were today and they had fluids taken and any wounds that they had were dressed. So we're at the Two Thumbs Wildlife Trust Sanctuary and we're releasing two koalas that have been in care since the bushfires. So we released Hamish and Bear and both of those koalas uh, came in after they were found by the University of Sunshine Coast uh, detection dogs. So they came in quite thin and without much food available and now the habitat's recovering and the koalas are in great condition so it's time for them to go back and see how they go. So we're going to be collecting the GPS locations of the koalas when they're released and also we've got some uh, GPS collars on some resident koalas as well. So we're looking at how the resident koalas and the rehabilitated koalas are using the landscape and whether they are using the burnt areas or whether they're trying to still stick to those few trees that had intact canopy on them. The data is really valuable because it can tell us basically how we need to respond to fires in the future. Do we need to be getting the koalas out of the landscape uh, to allow time for the trees to recover? Or as soon as the trees start regrowing leaves, is it safe for the koalas to go out again? Or do we really need to be waiting a little bit longer until there's enough leaves growing on a huge number of trees in order to be able to support the koalas in the landscape? It's sort of like your life purpose as a vet. You know, you're there to see these animals through sickness and hopefully nurse them to health. It's an incredible feeling, it's just such a high. Like I'm still on such a high, just seeing them climb up healthy compared to when they came in, you know, so sick and um, debilitated basically. So it's really hard to put into words, but it's the best feeling in the world.